G'day guys, Cam Wild Wild Touring. Uh, we're all packed up. We're actually planning to leave 14 Mile Beach, Warra Station. We were going to stay here another couple of days, but the forecast looks crap. So um, we're going to start making our way back home. We're probably going to do a bit of free camping on the way back. Got a few bags of wood we want to burn. We want to cook a roast. Um, I just want to be able to sit outside. It's been too windy to sit outside on the coast for the last few days. So I think Tiff's just feeding the baby and then we're ready to roll. Um, one thing I noticed as I was packing up was that one of my uh, rear tires was flat and off the bead this morning and that's because yesterday I got bogged and um, I aired down to about 14 pound. And that would have been 14 pound hot pressures. So as it's cooled down overnight, it's just dropped too low. There's a lot of weight on the back of the car and it's, it's popped the bead off the rim. So I was able to get it back on um, using the air compressor, um, but I don't know how much sand's in the bead. So I'll use my tire pressure monitoring system to keep a bit of an eye on that. And um, uh, hopefully we don't have any slow leaks, but at least I'll know before it becomes an issue. Anyway, let's see how the missus and kids are getting on. I'm ready to go. How do you reckon we're gonna go getting out of here? Why? Because we've dug some big holes from all that yeah, wind. I know. And we have to turn around down there. I know. Have you told everyone that we've left early? Yeah. Yeah. Off to Carnarvon today. Right, mind the Chinese laundry up here. Yeah. Catching up on washing. How many loads? Three loads. For a week. Yeah. So we are staying at Winter Sun Caravan Park in Carnarvon. We've stayed here a few times before. It's it's quite good. It's probably our favourite one in Carnarvon. Um, it's about sixty-five dollars a night, which is expensive, but it is school holidays. They're doing a good job here now. It by is. Way. Yeah. They've got there's live music on tonight. And then other nights they've had a um, food truck out the front. Yeah, it's very it's a very social caravan park. Yeah. Um, yeah, food trucks, I think, three times a week and live music also three times a week. That so. might only be around school holidays, though. Yeah, I don't, sure. know. don't know. Anyway, it's a good little caravan park. We like it. Yeah. We've stayed at one of the other ones in Carnarvon, but this is our favourite one. Yeah. Right, so we've got barbecue for dinner. Oh, I'm cooking Gary and Hazel's as well. Yeah. We've not been able to have the Ziggy on because it's been so windy at Wara Station, so... Nice little treat. We're having sausages, sweet potato, eggplant, and corn. Mm -hmm. Yummo. Yeah. We had a real good little stay in um, Carnarvon. We don't normally stay there more than one night. It's normally just a stopover to get some water and some groceries. But we ended up staying a couple of nights, and um, all the crew ended up meeting us there. And, it was nice to be able to actually sit outside and have a few beers and not get smashed by the wind. <laughs> We're doing a, just a short leg from Carnarvon today into Gladstone Bay, which is a low-cost camp. I think it might be Shire Run, Tiff. Yeah. Um, we've never been out here before. It's off-grid camping on a tidal sort of section of the, of the ocean. And it's quite a little bit corrugated getting in. Yeah, so it's a 6K road from the highway. We did read on Wiki Camps that it's a little bit corrugated, but it's not too bad so far. No, we haven't aired down. I haven't, don't, at this stage, we won't. Yeah, haven't let the tires down. So we'll see how we go. We might let them down if it gets too bad. Or if it's boggy on yeah, the beach. Yeah, it's only six k's. Um, yeah, Gladstone Bay. I think it's thirteen dollars a night per person. So it'll be twenty. Twenty six. Um, twenty six for us. Kids under eight, free. And this uh, area that we're going to, like the the bay 
like on the opposite side of the bay is the Shark Bay region. And apparently this area in here is full of seagrass and full of dugongs. Really? Yeah. So I think sometimes you can spot the dugongs from the jetty. I don't know if you can walk along the jetty because it's quite old. You and... must agree that it exit is too bad. No, the track's not bad at all. Yeah, so I have heard people spot dugongs either off the beach or off the jetty here. Um, and I think when the tides are high, you can kayak and fish and stuff. But I think at the moment, the tides are really low out here. So anyway, we'll show you when we get there. There you go, too soon. Stop there, that's pretty good. The three of us now got Gubby set up here in his forward fold. Gaz is there in his van and we're set up here. It's a cracking little spot. Really happy with this place. Driven past it a few times and never actually checked it out, but it's really nice. Um, campsites go for ages, so there's heaps of room. And yeah, we're in the middle of school holidays now. We had no dramas getting the site, so that's pretty cool. Stuck the um, side wall down. Sort of pointless for one night, but I really just wanted to make sure that it actually um, actually fits and actually works because we, have, because we hadn't had a chance to try it yet. So that works well. And these are the, um, I don't know what they call them, like bungee ropes or something. They're from Thai Gear. Those Thai Gear uh, guy ropes have been awesome. I'll show you a bit of footage uh, of them in Carnarvon. I had them set up there, but haven't got them set up here because I'm sort of using the um, shade cloth as our sort of guide ropes, if you know what I mean. Works quite well. Just say what brand this is, because you'll get asked. Oh yeah, so what is it? Camp, Camp Smart. Camp Smart XD, which is the extra drop. Extra drop, yeah, and even that. The you, size, was it four point? I reckon the awning's 4.5, and this and the shade is 4.3. Um, but yeah, definitely glad we got the extra drop tiff. Yeah. Because it's still only just long enough for what we wanted. <laughs> oh. It's pretty windy, but um, tell them about this muck mat, Tiff. What about it? Oh, the muck mat. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, we, we got the footage when we were at um, at 14 Mile. Oh, I did. It was the only thing that didn't have sand to cover on it. So the sea gear mats are brilliant. That's the floor mat we're using now. It's probably a little bit too small for our van now. Yeah, I think we've got the three meter or the 3.3. Probably need a four or a five meter one for this size van. It does the job. But. The sea gear is really good because the sand will settle through it and we're, we're being quiet by the way because Brody's sleeping in the van. But um, yeah, the sea gear is really good because the sand will sort of settle, settle through it up until a point. But at 14 mile, the wind was just so ferocious that sand had piled on top of it and you could barely see the thing. Um, but the muck mat was brilliant. The muck mat was absolutely yeah. full of sand. There's footage of you shaking yeah. it out actually. We've always been a bit skeptical about the muck mats because everyone's got a discount code and everyone, everyone, talks, about everyone talks about them and raves about them. We thought, oh, is it just one of those? Is it just one of those products? Like, yeah, I don't know. And then we thought, well, does the Bunnings, you know, fake turf just do the same thing? Yeah, but we definitely thought it would. I don't think it does. The Bunnings no. fake turf is like this big. The muck mat stuff is like that long and plush. Yeah, it's, a, it's quite light. Um, but it's heavy enough that it doesn't blow away in the wind. You don't have to peg it down or anything. It rolls up onto itself and it's got a strap attached to it to yeah, roll it all up. It's good. It's really good. Yeah, and yeah. it does clean all the crap off your feet when you go into the van. No, we don't have a discount code. Nah. <laughs> but nah. everyone else does. <laughs> yeah, you can get one from somewhere else. Yeah. Anyway, how's the view? There's an old jetty about a K that way. You can actually drive on the beach. Someone just drove past earlier. And he asked us if we had some snatch straps because he said there's a fella in a Navara way down there near the jetty that's um, tried to put his boat in and he's got bogged up the axles in the mud. So I won't be driving on this section, I don't think. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. cracking sunset tonight and we're definitely gonna have a fire. I think we've got about nine bags of wood between us because we haven't been able to have any fires at 14 mile with this wind. Tonight's the night, we're having a good fire. 
Chloe's hanging out. She wants to cook some s'mores on it. Yeah, we're having s'mores. So how we make them is like we have like a chocolate biscuit and then we put like three marshmallows or two in it and then we, and that's how we make it. Look. Ladybug. Look. I already seen it. Oh, did you? And it can also fly, you know. Yeah. It can fly that ladybug. It does. Do you think there are boy bugs as well? Or man um, bugs? <laughs> wow. Oh, um, so, so, you know how, so there's actually lots of flies here. So, um, when I was sitting down on my chair, um, and I didn't, and we were playing I Spy with Sarah, um, uh, uh, I actually didn't know this, and I actually, I think I opened up my mouth and a fly got in my mouth. Right. So yeah, and then and, and I felt yeah, something yucky in my mouth, so I took it out, and then I saw a fly. Oh, that's good you got it out, but it probably still laid eggs inside your mouth. What you did? Daddy's staring. Daddy. I had to use the blowtorch in the end. Still haven't quite nailed it, eh? It looks right. Looks good. I don't want that. You didn't know you just have a little Vegetable bit of meat. Potato, sweet potato, and eggplant. Yum. Yeah. I can't wait. All right, should I do it? Yeah. Let me fill me camera. Yeah. I'm gonna do the uh, the old taparoo. Oh, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's a beauty. What are you doing? Whatever she wants. I can't hold my dough to make my bread. Is that all right with you, Chloe? No. That's not okay, isn't it? This is going to be tasty. Oops, no, it's not. Because I'm hungry. That's heaps in it. Mm -hmm. Oops. Whoa. I forgot it doesn't stop halfway. <laughs> <laughs> Still getting used to it. I've come from a Weber. Sweet what do you potato. prefer, the Weber or the Ziggy? Ziggy at the moment. I've had both for a long time. Well, I've had the Weber for a long time, haven't I? Yeah, years. Years and years. Yeah. Since I've known you. And I've only had the Ziggy for, I don't know, six months or something. And I prefer the Zig. Leaving Gladstone Bay this morning. That was a really nice little spot, wasn't it? Yeah. Really enjoyed that. So we've said goodbye to a, a couple of the um, couples we're traveling with. We said goodbye to Erin and Alex from now or whenever. Uh, and we're just heading on with Gary and Hazel now in the other caravan. And we'll probably do another couple of nights on the way home just to break it up. So Tiff's had a look on Wiki Camps and she's found something that we're going to head towards. So we'll, we'll um, hopefully get a spot there. Otherwise, there's a few other options on the way home. Wild touring shirts are in stock, guys. Get your hands on them. How good does he look? Feel good as well. Oh yeah. The weather is over. Ooh. Yucky. You going for a swim in there? Um. Is this the Murchison River? Uh, it is. Yeah, it is, Tiff. Because if you follow it, this river goes the whole way to um, Calberry. So. I know I think my babies. So we, you are not swimming. We've stopped, he's got the funniest, toothiest smile. We've stopped at um, Galena Bridge rest area, which is a free camp along the Murchison River, just on the, just off the side of the highway, isn't it? Yeah. Stayed here a couple of times before. I'm not super keen on this spot because um, yeah. it's just very busy. It's very popular. 
and um, it's it can be a bit of a mess just with rubbish and yeah. crap. It's a bit of a um, dust bowl as well. Anyway, <laughs> we're here because we were planning to have a big fire tonight, and uh, I knew you were allowed fires here, but unfortunately, looks like the Shire has just shut the season a couple of weeks earlier, probably for school holidays, so we won't be able to have a fire tonight anyway. But we've done enough driving today. We've done a couple of hours, haven't we? Yeah. And we're ready for lunch. Um, so they said, yes, you can have fries, but then they said no. Oh. Yeah, they changed the date. So mean. Oh, well, we'll have one tomorrow night. You had s'mores last night anyway, you lucky duck, didn't you? And Gary's baking us bread, so. Yeah, they got me over the line. Fresh baked bread. Hands are washed. Yes. Excellent. Jesus, that's a big step up. I know, that's a big step now, isn't it? For a big boy. I don't think I can get up that with the baby. Push her up. Oh, oh yeah, yeah cool. You'll be erupted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, it's the baby's head. Oh, oh look at this. How much do you need? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So what, is it a kit? Yes, yeah. there. Oh, sorry. Pizza, oh, pizza and focaccia. Yeah, so it's going to be focaccia. You're going to make focaccia? Yeah. Oh, do you want some olives? And some uh, we do have, I said to Hazel, do you reckon we should put some olives in there? I've yeah. got some. Ours are already sliced. Oh, yeah, cool. Do oh, you want them? I don't think they're very good at Cole's brand. That's alright, that's all we eat. Oh, <laughs> of course you do. That's all we eat. <laughs> of course you do. Now we spread it out into all the corners. Can I spread it out first? That's, that's it. it. I think we need more tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna get Chloe a biscuit and then I'll come back. So we got, we got feta, olives, and some sun-dried sun -dried tomatoes. And some olive oil. Some olive oil. That's it, huh? Shit. Well done, guys. All good? Yeah. Closer. Done. How long? Don't know. Okay. 20. Like it. 20 to 25 minutes. Cool. Some cool, some cool breeze going. Hey, what happened from the microwave plate? Oh, sorry, we've spoken to two different people, Gary and Hazel and Alex and Aaron. They both say they never ever remove the microwave plate, the glass thing. So we thought, oh, great, we won't either. And then- 6K corrugated track, yeah. not too bad. Yeah, um, pulled up because we were having car dramas, another story. <laughs> and um, the microwave plate has fallen, has, this, so this is opened, the plate's fallen on the floor, and then this has shut itself again. Oops, but um, it was still intact. Yeah, so it's fallen the whole way to the floor, hasn't broken. That's good. But yeah, from now on, you see where Tiff just put it in that pocket, we'll, we'll continue to do that. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, actually, um, We've not done a heap of uh, unsealed or off-road tracks or anything in this van yet. Maybe all up, oh, 50, maybe 50, nah, 50 to 80 Ks, but we've had no dust in it and nothing's rattled loose or, or broken or anything yet. But yeah, it's not done any real hard so, yeah, work yet. microwave, and then I found like some, some of these things go falling, but that's my fault. They are, they're just stacked too high. Yeah. Everything else alright? Yeah, oh, and the fans were a little bit too close to the wall. You can see the mark where they've been rubbing behind the fans, so we've got to be mindful of that. Other than that, it's all good. You don't want to suck those feet, kid. Yeah, we've had, um, we've had no dramas with anything, have we? No, the van... Everything's working well. We're getting a little bit more faith in it now. Hmm. Still got to go back to warranty for some, um, a fair bit of work. But um, we'll do, I'll do like a follow-up video after the warranty stuff and let you know how we got on, how we got on what was fixed and um, what the solutions were. Let's have some lunch, eh? Yep. How'd it come out? No, nice. Nice? Yeah, let's have a look. Oh, that's a million bucks, guys. Well done. Yum boy. Are we trying it? Yep. Go on, Tibby. Grab this and bang it in your gob and let me have a look. <laughs> Oh, do we need butter, Tiff? No, I'm not on a show, bro. No? You're good? It's not oh, good, you don't look, You're not making noises of... Yeah, pleasure. No, it's nice. Doughy? Yeah, it's nice. Oh. 
It is what it is. It's a little bit dry, but it's tasty still. It is what it is. It's actually not bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's yum. Potential. I like it. Okay. Oh my god, you're gonna get rid of that one, Claire. Yeah, you'll be fine. No, six more minutes. No, six moves. You'll be fine. Can I see? Who's playing that game? You or her? Mm -hmm. Here's your waffles, yum? Yeah. Fuel to hit the road? Mm. <laughs> Here's your waffles, little man, yum. Ta! Ta! He just eats with his hands because he doesn't know how to use a fork. Not yet. Good boy. <laughs> hey. Hold on, Chloe. Not a bad view. So this is Cliff Head. I think we're in the main Cliff Head section. I think there's Cliff Head North and Cliff Head South. And they're 20 bucks a night. And there's no facilities here, so you gotta be fully um, self-sufficient. They There's like an honesty box as you drive in. Otherwise the ranger comes around in the morning and he's got FPOS, so we're gonna do that when he whips around. But good fire pit there's gonna get a workout. We're still in fire season, which is nice. And um, reasonably level, good little spot. Gaz is all set up too. You didn't even have to level up. Nah. Beautiful. A couple of drinks, everything's level. Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> so real, um, ocean's real calm here. We're thinking we might even stick the kayaks in the Savo and go for a bit of a paddle. Looks like lots of seagrass out there. So maybe some, um, some squid, who knows? Anyway, what I've been doing is um, when I get to these camps, it's quite warm today, it's 30 degrees. And <clears throat> by midday when we got here, batteries were fully charged again. So I'll shut up every window in there, make it all nice and dark and stick the aircon on while the panels are in pretty much full sun. And um, that way I can run, I set the aircon a little bit higher, about 25 degrees or something. And then I can run that aircon till about 5.30, 6 o'clock quite comfortably. And then by then it's cool down out here and I can open all the windows and let a breeze through. So that's working really well. Really happy with that. I've been banging on about the aircon a little bit, but it's just because it's new and that battery system's like my new favorite toy. It's it's not things that you need. We never had aircon before, but um, yeah, it's just a bit of a toy at the moment. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> so it's a bit of a cave in here, but that's how we keep it cool. Brody's having a sleep now. And it was 30 degrees when we when I turned it on about I don't know 45 minutes ago, and it's pulling down already. This is the diesel heater display. It's already pulled down a couple of degrees. Once it hits 25, it'll cycle on and off to hold that temp, and then that becomes quite efficient. Um, be interesting to see what the battery capacity is like at the end of the day. But now 96%. It's pulling. 15 amp because the panels are putting in about 700 watt it's working well it makes it real easy for him on a hot day to have a day sleep <laughs> 